What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Some comments here for you, Canadian Football 2017. Take a look at this scoreboard. Colts and Jets. There will be a breakdown at the end of this video that will probably amaze some of you, but I want to show you some things here. Season play got the cup. The real reason we're here, though, practice mode. Practice? We're talking about practice? Really? We're going to talk about practice? Practice, man? All right, I had to get out of my system. We're going to talk about practice. So I'm going to load up the Colts here. I'm going to load up the Jets over here. And we are going to talk about practice. I'm going to show you the American rule set is in here. And the reason I want to talk about this is because I actually asked David Winner to make sure that we could have a practice mode in this game and that we could have the American rule set. Because to me, it was too much of a learning curve to learn the Canadian football intricacies and rules, to learn the controls and speed of this game. I felt like the game would be a lot better for simulation football gamers like myself if we had a way of practicing it and obviously the American rules. And there's a lot of things that change here. You can see the speed of these passes, the speed of the game on this next play. You'll really notice the speed in which a defense attacks the run. It's very different from any game I've ever played. Is it better? I don't know. Is it worse? I don't know. I just know that it's so different that I felt like I needed time just kind of by myself to learn how this game is best played. And combining this with a comment you guys had put out to me about Madden's practice mode, I thought to myself, you know, when was the last time I had to open up Madden, go to practice mode, and actually learn how to play the game? Look at this draw here. Watch the second level block. Really good. I don't like that they spin, but really good looking second level blocks. And to me, the answer was, you know, I don't know the last time that I went into practice mode because they changed gameplay so drastically or the game speed so drastically. When I think of practice mode, I think of people quote-unquote labbing. And to me, labbing is nothing more than going into the game and trying to find ways that you can manipulate a defense through audibles to control the outcome of the defense no matter what the opposing team is going to do, even if they're going to control a player to try to offset that. So in doing that, it brought up that interesting point to me. And there you see a little bit what I was talking about with the run speed a little different to have that aggressive attack right at the front and for what it's worth yes i did these colts and jets uniforms before anyone asks i know they're not perfect i wasn't aiming for perfect i was aiming for them to look decent from 50 feet away and playing five plays in a game and i think i did okay this is a little experiment i did this receiver doesn't have real good hands and i figured that i would try to throw him some deep passes and i noticed that these passes more often than not, were overthrows, which traditionally you don't see a lot of overthrows in Madden. But I also thought it was interesting that the times that this receiver did have an opportunity to catch them, he would drop them. And the funny thing with this is, to me, and again, don't know how consistent this is, I saw a true difference in ratings. And I also saw the defense do a little different things in their formation. So here you see him come out, one safety over the top, safety drops back middle of the field, I'm gonna throw the ball deep, safety's in nowhere position, nowhere near position to defend this pass, but the corner was actually in really, really good position, which is what makes this next play so incredible to me. So obviously you know I'm doing the same exact play. The safety does not drop back to where he was before. Now I want you to notice something right here at speed how the safety reacted. I'm going to slow this play down, and we're going to look at this together, because to me, this is something I don't think I've seen in another football game in a very long time. Note the position of this safety. Now, I have not thrown the ball, but the corner covering the A receiver has already bit down, and there's no more routes that are going to go into his territory. He is actually running back toward the goal line right now, because he can obviously know that that receiver has gotten away from the defensive back. Then I throw the pass. He was already in position to do this. Watch him come up over to bracket this receiver. Now, it's an overthrown ball, but he is actually ahead of the receiver and the defensive back. That is not something you see a lot of in today's football games, but you see it just about every time on an actual football field. So you weren't going to get through a whole video without a breakdown. I'm sorry. Last thing I want to show you in this, though, I figured, you know what? Let me throw to one of my other receivers and see how they do because I really want to know. Was that guy just bad, or was it just my quarterback? So the next one, you know, I throw it in here, double coverage, pull it down, get some extra yards, almost score. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking it out. 
you and I will be back in the week with more commentary.